Well, welcome to a new Dave's Classic Garage Tours video. And yes, I'm back at Ventura, uh, the famous Hume Highway, 140 kilometers hour mural. It's a famous picture by Mel Nichols, photographer, um, back in 1969, 70, um, that you can hear all about on the Cars That Made Australia podcast. Absolutely brilliant podcast with a uh, chap called Tim Ross. You ought to go and hear it if you want to hear all about Aussie motors, particularly the uh, Falcon, one of the first episode and second episode of the new series. Go check it out. In the meantime, let's go check out the boys inside. Well, Michael, look at this. What a, I haven't seen this colour in here before, mate. What is it? Uh, it's Wimbledon White. Wimbledon White? Yes. And this is, what model is this? Uh, XY GT, but it's a South African. It's not an Australian. Oh, South it's a South African GT, oh, yeah. yeah. So is there any, can the expert point out any differences? Um, they um, had different, uh, well, Daniel know more than me, but uh, interior was a little bit different. Because they were actually, a, they weren't a GT Falcon, they were actually called a Fairmont GT. Oh, um, so yeah, they had a different trim. Yeah. Different headlining, um, little things. So yeah, back garnish in the boot didn't say Falcon; it said Fairmont. Yeah. Um, yeah, they had uh, instead oh, of the, it's, oh, because of the Fairmont in it, which is yeah, a bit of a higher grade. That's right. Yeah. Higher spec. They had they didn't have the Super Rue on the side. They had like a, a Rhino. And those lights in the rear three. Um, the C pillar there, they wouldn't have had them in the GT over here. Would uh, they? Uh, I had them in the C pillar, yeah, yep. Yeah. Over here? The back, yep. They do in the GT? Yep. Here? Yep. Oh, right, yep. okay. Oh, I'll shut up then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but the, uh, how does that regard it in like the GT community then? Where are they, where do they sit? I mean, people. Oh, everywhere. It, they're... The quality, the, the build quality, and all that sort of thing. Do they? Yeah, they regarded about, any better or any? No, nah, they're probably roughly the same. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And what engines this one, but? So that's a still the three fifty one Cleveland. Uh huh. Um, so they had pretty much the same running gear in yeah. them um, as a GT would here, a Australian GT would. So um, this car's an automatic car. Um, right. Right. Yeah, and he's just come in to do some. Uh, maintenance and there was some certain things you wanted us to oh, yeah. check out while it was here. What, what did it have any any sort of issues that you have? No um, he was worried about some play in the steering wheel. Yeah. Um, some clunking in the rear and um, little things on the interior with AC vents because it's an air conditioning uh, aircon car as well. Right. Um, oh, it's from Canberra though. Yeah, it's an interstate car. Yep. Yeah. How did uh, he? Uh... He uh, actually contacted us. Because he saw one of your videos, so are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So he's um, oh, contacted us and where's the boss? Is there a Christmas bonus for me? <laughs> Am I in the Christmas list? I get looked after, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice! Eh? It's a bloody lovely colour. Mike. It's a good colour. Yeah, I like the colour as well. Yeah. This is up there with that green one for me. I'm telling you, I think because I just uh, it was in was that a GT the other. A green coloured one with a gold stripe on it? Was that a GS? No, that was a GS. Oh, GS, yep, Fairmont. Yeah, right. I like this colour as well, it's a nice colour. So, how long has this one been in for so far? Uh, I've had it for about a, about a week now. Okay. Um, he actually drove it to us. Oh, really? So yes, from interstate, from Canberra. So. Did he have any issues coming down, having a bit wobbly here or there? Or um, yeah, it made it here no problems, but uh, more just wanted to get the car right so yeah. when he is driving it, it's safe and. and he, you know, get rid of those little vibrations and, and yeah. play that he doesn't like. But um, is he? Uh, does he? Is he the kind of guy that turns up at the show? Up at the? Will he be at the GT Nationals with this? Um, possibility. I, I, I'm not sure. I haven't asked him to be honest. But yeah. he's the type of guy that will drive it. Yeah. Uh, and that's what he wants. He wants a car that's. It's a driver's car. Yeah. It's a driver's car. He wants to use it and drive it, so yeah. he won't get locked up. Lovely guy, um, just wants to have the, guy, the car to safe and, and reliable, just so he can jump in it and, you know, yeah. if he wants to go, if he wants to drive to Sydney or drive to Melbourne, he knows he can do it, which he's already done with us, but yeah, he just wants to, like I said, just 
to so, get some things sorted out that he's not happy with. We were talking earlier about some cars set up for the straights and could I question whether or not you know these could handle the roads around where I live or yep. whatever on the um, the curly uh, the curvy twisty stuff. Yeah. You reckon that you know some cars some of these Falcons? Yeah, I reckon they could do a ride right around the twisties. Obviously. They're not going to handle like a new car, like a modern day car, but they do. They do pretty well, and they're pretty much it's that they were made to do that, really. Right. Um, it's just it depends, you know. If you when you build a car, is it, you know, some people build them for drag racing. You know what I mean? Right. And if it's a straight line car, well, they're set up for a straight line. They're not set up to go around corners. But yeah. these cars, when they're set up, pretty much factory or you know, as a driver's car, they yeah. they do it no dramas. Nice one. Okay, well. Especially if the modern day, you know, shock, shock absorbers these days and, and yeah. springs and bushings and everything's just... That's all been sussed and redone. Yeah, we're actually going to raise the front of this car a oh, little right. bit, so we haven't got to that point yet. Oh, but yeah. um, What does that, what was he complaining of and what is that going to achieve? Um, so just for uh, uh, drivability, yeah. so it's, it was pretty low and it was hard over bumps and stuff. It, he didn't like the ride of it, yeah. so he, he wants a better ride. Yeah. Um, and it was quite low. Yeah. It's got really good shocks in it, so yeah. yeah, we've just seen the springs and how close the coils were in it. Yeah. And as well as that, it was low, so it, we are going to pick it up a bit, and that should help a lot for the drivability of the car. Right. At the front, the back's pretty good. It's just the front, really. Right. All new stuff, eh? Mm. I reckon this. You're, how old do you reckon this restoration is? I wouldn't have a clue, to be honest. I, 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 it's it's it doesn't bad. look very old. Yeah, I mean, I don't think. I don't think it, I mean, it, it, it probably wasn't a full resto, like a real yeah. concourse. But it's it's been it's definitely been painted. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who knows? Probably about might be a fifteen year old, twenty right. year old resto. Oh, it's good to see you, isn't it? a bit of car that's. Uh, like this. Yeah. What it should be, mate. It's what it should be. Lovely. All right, mate. Well, thank you very much. I better let you get on. Do some uh, earn a crust, do your work. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee. Thank you. <laughs> right, cheers, mate. Michael, I've let you go too early. This is the uh, star of the show on my channel, what everybody's asking about. Where are we at with the uh, putting it back together with the XE ESP? Falcon. Uh, done a bit on this car actually. It's a shame we can't get it down. The yeah, shop's choppers at the moment. Tell us what we got here first. Um, that's just a, a project. It's an XA GT that they've got for sale at the moment. Well, project car. Oh, right. The sh Grand Tour is selling it. Yep. All oh, right. There you go, people. What's, what XA did you say? XA, yep. And what's. Uh, and it's an actual genuine GT, yeah? It's a genuine GT. Yeah, roof, uh, automatic car. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's it had a rattle can job on it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> I think it's got the, the, the colour on it just to. Yeah. Looks a bit better that way. Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, it's, it's all there, that car, so yeah. Right. It's just so, a, are these parts to go with it, is it? Everything to go with it, yep. It's oh, got well. everything there. There you go, people. I, uh, call the shop and I won't find, ask to say how much it is on the channel. You can call in if you're after a XA sedan. Genuine GT. But a more of interest to me is this stunner up here. Yeah, the XE. I mean, crushed, lovely. I love that uh, two tone, buddy. Yeah, it's good. And the charcoal over the, uh, under the red. So, yeah, where are you at? Um, so, pretty much all the running gear's back in now. Oh. So, it's had an engine rebuild. Yeah. Um, transmission's been rebuilt as well. Uh, it's been rebuilt pretty much stock spec, the engine it has anyway. It's just so that, that had been on gas, hadn't it? What? This was on dual fuel before, it's yeah. not on dual fuel anymore. So, what were the reports back in regard to? I mean, how is that um, remedied, or do, 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 does it cause any problems of having the 20, dual fuel? Years of oh, yeah, that, that, that's the part of the reason why we got it um, rebuilt. Yeah, when I'd done the compression test, I think it might have been in one of the past videos but I've done a compression test in this car and I think two cylinders were down on the comp. Right. Yeah. Um, 
and being being a dual fuel car, and it was I had dual fuel for a long time. Yeah. Um, it does cause um, wear in the top end on the cylinder heads and stuff right. like that. Um, so we've being long compression, it was just safer to. It could have been just in the top end, but once it got once it got pulled down, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty sure it uh, had some issues with uh, rings as well, piston rings. Okay. So it was just probably a, yeah, it was just good that we did find it, and yeah. That, yeah, it's all been freshened up. It is like I said, it is the stock spec. Anything is just got a little uh, little camshaft in it, right. just to help it along and a bit more compression. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's a, it's pretty much a stock motor. Yeah. Um, but he's, he's an old, elderly gent. He's not. He look, is. Yeah. Elderly. So he's not looking to go fast. He's nah. just looking to be able to get in and do Sunday drives with it with his yeah. wife. Um, yeah. It, 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 for him, it's just a turnkey sort of be reliable and yeah. go anywhere. Well, and, it's been and, in for you know, a while. And be half decent on fuel. Right. Uh, he's he's no in, no uh, great. Is he pressuring you to get it out the door? No, he was in here a couple, oh, a couple of weeks ago. They're a lovely couple, actually. He's yeah. he's he's excited to get it back. He's, yeah. he's um, I think it was the first time he's seen it bar the panel shop. Yeah. Um, so when he came and saw it, you know, he had the the tail lights in and all yeah. the moulds on the side of the door, the bumper bar, the the headlights. He saw the engine. So it's, for him, it's like a step closer. It's getting very close to him. So. Yeah. He got a bit excited. He had some photos that he brought in that from when before he, actually when he first got it, I think. Yeah, so right. yeah, he's he's quite excited. He's yeah, there, they're grouse. And what um, are the moulds new or? Really yeah, they're new moulds. So somebody's out there making. They're not new old stock. Yeah, I have to do some a bit of adjustment on them, but they're 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 aftermarket, they're aftermarket yeah. sort of moulds. But they're 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 pretty they're, good. Yeah, yeah, they look good. They're not perfect, but they're good. Mate, I can't wait to hear this and see this going out the door. What about the rear light clusters? Are they off to my No, they're still the, his lights that he oh, had in the really? car. They so we've just cleaned them up and put them back in. Oh, they've come up. Good. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. So his headlights, his tail lights, were like pretty much brand new. Yeah. Um, we had to replace his front indicators only because they had some cracks in there and it was, it was just a shame to put, you know, old indicators that were cracked in the car that's yeah. looking as nice as what it's looking at the moment yeah. so so this is on the cover of unique cars one of these this month yeah. oh yeah the SPs, yeah so they're certainly uh starting to get the recognition they, yeah i know uh they're a pretty some, popular car like when you they're always they're, they're always, always pretty popular know, generationally people are going to move along aren't exactly they? You know, right the next you know bunch of people that were kids in 82 or whatever and, and I, re I reckon they're a good looking car yeah. oh, i reckon they're a great looking oh, car absolutely and this coming from uh, Holden, man. Oh, yeah, I'm a GM guy. Yeah. <laughs> GM guy. Right. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you very much for your time, mate. No I'll worries. Let you get on. Crack on. Cheers, buddy. As ever, thanks for watching. And if you did enjoy it, please consider liking, adding a comment, subscribing, and sharing my content. It really does make a difference. And best of all, it's absolutely free.